Hi. What's up? We made a stupid decision. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. We picked up a project car. What? So let's list what cars we have. What cars do you own? 1999 BMW M3. 1998 Integra Type R. 2014 Toyota Tacoma. And then I own a 2013 Ford F-150. A 2020 Toyota RAV4. A 2005 350Z, my 350Z race car, and a 240SX. We also have a trailer, which takes up space. That's why I'm mentioning it. So what did we do? Another project. Got another project. But you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> why? Why not? <laughs> why, though? And why did we do it? Because we're stupid. The two of us put together seem like we have a problem, but we accrued each of these individual cars before we even started dating, right? Correct. You already had your stuff. I already had my stuff. And I think at this point, we're like, we should build a project together, right? Yeah. yeah. We had individual problems, and now they're together. Aww. We came up on a really good deal. Our good friend Anthony, who also works at Eibach, needed some parts for one of his builds and came up on a really good deal and asked us if we wanted to go in on the deal with him because he knew we had been contemplating a chassis of some sort. We still don't really know what we're going to do with it. We don't know if we're going to build it out. We don't know if we're going to part it out and sell it. We picked it up the other day. Mark picked it up the other day. And actually, neither of us have even looked at it. Real so time. we're going to show you guys the project for the very first time. The big reveal. The big reveal for ourselves even. Yeah. We know what it is. Threw on trailer, took off trailer. Because we were in a rush that day. Car cover and that was it. Yeah. So let's go outside. Let's look at the car. I haven't even seen the car in person. I've only seen it under the car cover. So this will truly be my first time. So let's go. I think by the silhouette, you could kind of figure out what it is. This is the big reveal. This vehicle has no bumper or, um, well, really any. This is the worst big reveal of my life. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Oh, come on. Okay, we're revealing it from the back forward. Big reveal. It's all this dust flying towards me. <laughs> wow. It's another stupid BMW. It's a BMW. No! No! Wow, it is a lot rougher than I thought it was. Uh, we do have a little bit of rust. Uh, so this car was originally purchased in Florida. Then it came to California and it lived actually around here for most of its life. It eventually went up to Lake Arrowhead and lived for a few years there. That's where some of the rust came from. Um, it is I've never seen rust on a car. I'm from California. Okay, well, this is pretty normal for me. So it's a three owner, uh, clean title M3. It had a really good history. I haven't really looked inside. It just rolled it off the color and that's it. So let's take a look. Okay, so it came with this plate and it's had this plate like its whole life. And I can't tell if this is trying to tell us something. What, but what does it mean? What does it, what does it mean? Okay, open it. Oh my God. Okay. Dead body. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, that's a wing. So it comes with a wing. Sweet. What if you found like a kilo of drugs in here? What would you do? Uh, like this? Psych. I just found a kilo of wheel spacers. Wheel spacers. Not Eibach wheel spacers, so not interested. It was gonna be a drift car. Okay, look at this, dude, look at what? this. What? It's definitely gonna be a drift car. Why, why do you say that? Because no one puts bumpers like this on a track car. So disrespectful! Okay, what he meant to say is this is garbage. Wow, there's a lot going on in here. More license plates. LSX. More spacers. I don't know who makes these. Those are really the fat boys. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> this was going to be a wide body drift car. I mean, it could use some wide body love. Okay, there no was spare. probably some no, no spare. animal living in here. That's a nest. 
That is disgusting. Comes with the free corner light. Yeah, uh, all my buddies think I should be running the ambers anyway, so maybe maybe I'll run that. Hamann Corden edition. So there's a sweet. I don't know what that is. What do you call it? A sub or an amp? But yeah. So that's the back. Okay. okay. On to the front. We got some some nuts and bolts in there. We got some Vaders. That's cool. Some manual Vaders that what does are looking. That mean? The Vader is the type of seat. It's a dual color seat. Yeah, it doesn't usually. With a wood grain, you break. Yeah, it I don't get usually it. Oh my gosh, there's spider webs. There's spider webs. Man. Those are cobwebs. What? What are? What's a cobweb compared not, to a spider not web? Not a spider web. Oh, your cannabis has arrived. Just in case you needed it. I knew there was a kilo of something in here. So this interior is actually kind of a cool color. Oh, and there's black door panel. So that's nice. I actually wanted one of those, but. Kind of gross. What's this? A shifter, shift knob. I mean, that's that's about what it is. Nothing like too alarming or surprising in here. Okay, let's check out the motor under the hood. Oh, psych. <laughs> nice, nice. Wow, there's a lot of room in here. It isn't. It isn't. No, it is. Usually mounted. The motor's usually mounted pretty far back. I know, but I mean, like a lot of room for a swap. That's why people put, put LS's in these things. Should we things. put my LS3 in here? Let's put the LS3 in here. This is it. So what have we affectionately named this car? Dirty 36? The E36. Oh, the E36, yeah. So how much did we buy this car for? Less than $1,000. How much did we get it for? Are we not disclosing that? I don't think it's worth disclosing. Okay. Because we might want to sell it. That, $400. It might have been $400, could have been 1000 We're just trying to make our money back. Okay, well the trailing arms. It was three thousand dollars. Trailing arms on this were are worth three hundred. Yeah. And the so, diff on this M3 is worth how much? Yeah. So this is the three twenty three diff. So it's a OE M3 manual diff, which is good. It's got an LSD in it, clutch type. And then we've got the large uh, axles, and then um, we have the M3 uh, rear trailing arms, and uh, this actually has a coilover kit on it too. I can't tell. What? Yeah, can't tell the brand. I can't see it. What color is it? Uh, and it's not. It's got German on it. The shocks are yellow, so they're either a Coney or a Bilstein. What do you think we should do with it? Like, do you like realistically? We bought this with the intention of building it out potentially. Yeah, I mean the reality is you, you might have seen my drift video. I feel like um, I feel like I actually have a chance to pursue some career and drift cut to drift video scene i think initially we bought this because we we're excited about building a car together yeah but now i've been talking about getting rid of my street <laughs> yeah, car and right, getting an right, e46 right. and i think yeah that has kind of made us question this potential project a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, realistically, this is a clean title M3 that could be restored for considerably, I mean, like we could put a few grand into it, restore it, get it back to good, pay some back reg and get it back on the street and make more, more than our money back. Uh, it's just time at that point. Or we could put a bash bar on the front and an LS3 in there and get rowdy. Or put like a basic motor in here. It would need to be like an s Well, do you want to build this into a drift car? No, I don't know what I want to do with it. A part of me wants to put it back on the street because it's it'll be worth something because it's got no no accidents listed and it's a clean title and it's only got a couple owners. So it could potentially be restored and then actually make a few bucks off of it. But that's like a project, you know, we'd probably have to put like three to five grand back into this, at least eight. Maybe I should sell my street car and build this out. Mm, you could do that. Yeah, it's to go. too much work. Yeah. I'm too lazy. This yeah. was, that could have been like the transition to us uh, starting a whole new channel and us building a really dope uh, E36. Mm -hmm. But we're not really cool you influencers at all. We have way too many projects, not enough room, and not enough time. Because yeah. we have jobs, too. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, keep this video short. Yeah. And uh, stay tuned who, for what... Who wants it? <laughs> who, Let us know. Who wants this car that we spent $3,000 on? Yeah, $3,000. We'll cut you a deal for we'll 600 good, Make it 1000 and you got yourself a deal. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah. I'm not a good salesperson. Well, there you have it. Our E36 project that you may see again on this channel and... You may not. You may not. And scene.